Connecting with your world. Here's Stace Hall with the VTV Basin Bulletin. Hey there, everybody, and thanks for clicking with us online and on local cable channel 6 for VTV's Basin Bulletin. I'm Stace Hall, and over the next few minutes, we'll keep you up on what's going down in the valley. Uinta Basin Christian Academy is well on its way to a new home. You might remember a Basin Bulletin in May that talked about the start of the school's Raise the Roof campaign. Officials instigated the fundraising effort simply to get off the ground and get a new roof on the new building. And wow, has that ever happened. The public responded in a big way. The roof is on, and the public gave over $200,000 in cash and services since May, a generous gesture which Pastor Marty Young greatly appreciates. We're grateful for those who have stepped in almost as pioneers and said, we're behind this and we want to see it happen, and, and they continue to step up in droves, and so we, more than anything, want to say thank you. Pastor Marty gave VTV a tour of the construction site, and the new building is, get this, 32,500 square feet. That's four times the size of the academy's current facility. Also, the school will have 14 classrooms, a full cafeteria with stage area, office space, and Wi-Fi throughout the building. Young says the spacious facility provides permanence and invests in the future. We're not looking for donors as much as we're looking for partners. We believe that Uinta Basin Christian Academy offers a program that can assist this community in moving into the, uh, into the future uh, in terms of taking care of its greatest resource, which is the next generation of kids. UBCA wants to complete the building debt-free, so here are the details of the next fundraiser. It's a walkathon on Friday, September 18, starting at 9 a.m., Students, staff, administration, and others will be at the Vernal Walking Park. The one thing I've got to mention here is the incentives. At the $10,000 mark, UBCA Principal Teresa Brooke will bring home the bacon by kissing a pig. But then, at the $20,000 mark, she's agreed to spend a night on the roof of the new building. The thing is, can we put up that picture again, please, Dell? That's a tall roof, folks. And for someone with fear of heights, like myself, that's not good. And I hope with all my energy that Mrs. Brooke is not a sleepwalker. Anyway, you can visit our website, vernal.tv, for more info on the walkathon. Now for community notes. The Dynamites were out for two more ribbon cuttings this week. The first focused on Exit Realty's move to where the Robin's Nest used to be on Highway 40. The remodeled place has offices for exits agents and a conference room for rent, as you're seeing on your screen. Their previous office next door is also up for rent. Meanwhile, officials showed off Vernal Middle School's new look during the second week of school. Among renovations, crews added a commons area, a counseling wing, new reception area, and added space in nearly every classroom. The school's auditorium received a new sound and lighting system, also a brighter cafeteria, and of course, functioning student-used lockers. The building took much longer to complete than expected, but the school principal says it's worth the wait. We are just so excited to have this beautiful new building for our students to use. You know, as you know, it's been a long project. It went, it, it went way over the time that it was supposed to be completed, but it's been worth every extra minute that we were out of it because it is gorgeous inside. Again, if you have a new or recently remodeled Uinta County business and haven't yet been dynamited, contact the chamber at 789-1352. Roosevelt residents, it's time to make your voice heard at the ballot box. Elections for Roosevelt City officials only will be held at the Crossroads and Community Center. You can vote anytime between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. and that will happen on Tuesday the 15th of this month. That's what's going down in the valley for now on Basin Bulletin. Have a super great day everybody. Thanks for watching VTV Channel 6. We'll see you next time.